In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create an energy flow effect onto any object in Blender. This energy effect was inspired by another Blender artist named Arbiter617, as he made a tutorial on the same trick. However, in this video, we'll be using a slightly different node setup, with little less nodes and a different internal texture to cast the energy flow. But you should still check out Arbiter's video too, as he also goes through the glow compositing, as we won't be going to the compositing in this video. But without further ado, let's begin. So we're going to test out the energy flow effect onto this gold sphere. So go into the node editor and click the add button down here, or click shift A and search for the moose grave texture node. I use this rather than the noise texture because it's a simple two color texture. Then search for the emission shader and plug in the moose grave texture into the emission shader's color input. We want to then apply the moose grave texture onto our current texture material. So I'm going to add in an add shader node and combine the two. As you can see, we get this weird looking textured color on the sphere, which isn't what we want. To translate the moose grave texture into an energy flow, we want to eliminate the dark colors of the moose grave texture. Good thing the texture is in black and white, which makes it dead easy, since we only have to eliminate the color black rather than multiple colors like blue and purple. To do this, let's add in a hue and saturation node. Plug it in and done. As you can see, this eliminates the dark colors, leaving the white color as the energy aura and the object's actual texture behind the aura. We can change how much you want the edges of the aura to fade by adjusting the detail value of the Moosegrave texture. A high value will make the edges sharp, while the lower values will make it fade completely, it becomes transparent. And on the hue and saturation node, we can play around with the values value to adjust the opacity of the energy aura. But what if we don't want our energy flow to be white? Well, we can simply do that by adding in a RGB curves node and plugging it in in between the hue and saturation node and the emission shader. When changing the color, it's best to only play around with the red, green, and blue curves. You can play around with them all to see if you can get a color or a texture or gradient or whatever you like. The possibilities are, well, kind of limitless. For the animation, or just for the placement, if we want the energy flow to move across the surface of your object, we can add in a texture coordinate node and a mapping node. You can add in keyframes into the location values of the mapping node to create an animation of the energy flow. If you guys want, I can make a future tutorial about using nodes to create keyframes and animation, or you can simply just search one on YouTube. Finally, if we want our energy flow to glow brighter or glow a different color, but without actually changing how it looks, we can add in another emission shader and a mix shader to mix our current energy flow and object material with the emission shader on the top. And then we add in a light path node. If we connect the is camera ray output into the mix shader's factor input, we get the same look of the object that we had before, but now with the glow on the top emission shader's strength and color. Play around with the emission shader's strength and color values while the look of the energy's aura doesn't change. If you found this tutorial helpful or just learned something interesting from this video, give it a like to show your support and subscribe for more modeling and material based related tutorials. Base related? Huh. <laughs> My name is Joshua Autumn via 2EasyCG. Thanks for watching and get to Bonbon.